Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada and this home for sale with a pool and a gated community. And this home behind me here used to be the model home for the neighborhood. And what does that mean? Well, first off, we're on a premium lot with amazing views perched up here high in this community. We're in the community of Tresor and this home was built in 2021. So a fairly new home. And the other thing you're gonna get with the model is tons of upgrades. We have that beautiful pool out back, of course, the views I just talked about and upgrades throughout the whole home. I can't wait to show you. We have four bedrooms, five baths, 4,280 square feet of living space, three car garage, a next gen suite. Yeah, so much going inside. I can't wait to show you. So follow me. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. This home listed for $1.75 million. And wow, what a steal. Let's go inside and take a look and see what you get for that. Follow me. All right, here we are, home for sale in Las Vegas with a pool and a gated community. We're in Henderson 89012 at 198 Shaded Canyon Drive, listed for $1.75 million. We have four bedrooms, five baths. We're on a 7,841 square foot lot. And you can see this beautiful modern design. Love the modern door to the courtyard there, these garage doors the elevation, and this used to be the model home for the neighborhood. So we're definitely gonna see that and feel that once we get inside. And not a whole lot going out here. The home has sat very well on this lot, so kind of a front um, position on this lot. So we have a great backyard, that pool, and then wait till you see these views, just gorgeous views. They always give you the premium lots on these model homes. Obviously they have their choice out of all the lots here and they chose perfectly. We also have solar in this home and the solar is very inexpensive, under $100 a month for this solar. So a lot going on here. I love this little cactus. We have the beautiful paver work here, the three car garage. We do have access to this garage from inside of the home. And then of course that next gen suite, which we'll take a look at as well. Check out these lights. They kind of mimic the stonework. That is very cool. And then with these Lennar homes, these lights here under your garage are actually going to come on at night. And that's just so the whole neighborhood's kind of lit up the same way. Kind of a cool little unique feature here. And then this wonderful courtyard. Check out this steel door here and that matte finish. Little step up. I like how they put the little yellow paint on there. That's definitely a model home touch there when they do that. You know, they don't want anyone tripping, but I actually like it for, you know, your private residence as well. Into this little courtyard here, as you can see, we have morning shade, just open skies above. We do have this little covered area walking into the front door there. So this is gonna be your main front door. I love the modern doors, eight foot doors here. And then over to the left, you have your separate entrance for the next gen suite. But we'll be checking that out from the inside. And then some potted plants here, done perfect. And then we have this little faucet also. So yeah, let's go inside and take a look. Ring doorbell, of course. The sentry lock or schlaggy uh, keypad there. Sentry lock, that's what the realtor thing is called. Now this is <laughs> a schlaggy. Uh, or schlag, I'm not sure how exactly you pronounce that, but this will hook up to your phone Wi-Fi so you can let people in. Uh, you can lock it from a remote location as well. And walking inside here. All right, as we walk in, if it's your first time here, your 150th time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss these tours that I put out every day. I'm the only realtor in town putting out tours every single day for you. And as we look around this entrance, if you wouldn't mind, just give me a quick thumbs up, help support my channel. And I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So upgraded tile right when we walk in, you can see they've done tile throughout a lot of the home. Upgrading Upgraded rail as well. You can see this railing here, not your standard metal rail. That's definitely an upgrade with the pattern in it. No pony wall up there either. So that's beautiful. We have about a seven or eight inch modern baseboard as well. A very, very soft gray on the walls. These massive doors on the interior. 
But immediately to the right, we're gonna have the garage. So we'll go ahead and start out there. There's a little step down walking into this garage. It is a good sized two car garage. You're gonna notice that there's nothing else out here. No water heater, uh, just a couple pipes here for the water shut off and your water pressure valve for the home. I love the modern garage doors with those windows, lets in some extra light. About 11 foot ceilings out here, so very tall. Your garage door opener is also perched way up there high. It doesn't hang down too low. And then a massive eight foot door as well going out to the side yard. We'll just take a quick peek out there. It's gonna be behind the gate here. Yeah, just clean landscape there. Nice tall block wall separating you from your neighbors. Irrigation control in the back, fire sprinkler control over to the right there. And then just a super flaked epoxy floor. I mean, this is professionally done and they put a lot of flake, a lot of epoxy, gonna last a real long time for you here. We also have a motion sensor in the garage. You can see that in the corner there. The home is wired with an alarm, fire sprinklers, everything you need. So the main living area is gonna be straight ahead, that beautiful pool. The kitchen's gonna be behind me, but we're gonna start over here in the next gen area. Uh, we do have a half bath down here. So remember, four bedrooms, five baths. And you can see that tile. We have a nice uh, color on the wall, kind of a sage green here. And again, it is the model home, so we're gonna see a lot of paint, a lot of special touches. I can't wait to show you upstairs. We have some actually really remarkable paint jobs upstairs. We have the mirror. Do we have a light underneath? No, that's the fan. I thought maybe there, some of these Lennars Maybe not the Lennars, but I know the Toll Brothers and Pulte, they put lights under these floating um, cabinets here. Undermount sink, beautiful countertop there. But yeah, not here today. Yeah, they're, basically they do these floating cabinets so you can just mop the whole floor and not have to worry about that, you know, basically that area where the wood meets the floor and just keeps it nice and clean and then upgraded interior doors. We have 10 foot ceilings in the home downstairs. And then again, more color on the walls here. So we're walking into the next gen suite. And so essentially you can lock this door here so that whoever's in the next gen doesn't have access to the rest of your home. It's kind of a one way lock though. You'd think that the person in the next gen would be able to lock their side so you can't get into the next gen, but I guess it's kind of owner rules here. So beautiful color on the walls. We have these Honeywell thermostats throughout the home. There's at least three zones, maybe four. And this will be the next gen bedroom. So very large bedroom here. It's gonna be the first bedroom we see. We are wired for a light or ceiling fan there. And then all of the smaller little things you see up top are gonna to be for the sprinklers. Um, yeah, so ceiling fan or light there. Unfortunately, our only light source is gonna be this lamp here or the window. The home is facing kind of north, northeast, I guess, if you wanna say. Um, we have that beautiful view of the city. We'll be out there in a moment. And then we have access through this door as well to the out back. So the next gen suite has its own access to the backyard and pool. And those tall ceilings make a big difference in the home. Beautifully staged here. And then we have washer dryer stacked unit here. And that's so you have your own laundry room in the next gen and a big walk-in closet. So it's gonna double as your walk-in closet, laundry room, 
How convenient is that? You can pull the clothes right out of the dryer, right onto your racks for the closet. So super convenient. And that's gonna be the first bedroom here. And then we're gonna have the full bath. That's basically the guest bath and the full bath for the next gen suite. So if the resident in the next gen suite has someone over, this would be the guest bath for them. These light gray shaker style cabinets, undermount sink, beautiful faucet there. And then all fiberglass enclosed shower here, no tub. And the fiberglass, what that's gonna give you is there's no grout lines or seams in this entire thing. It's all one piece, very easy to clean. And outside of maybe scratching or cracking it, which would take a lot of effort, standard showers really shouldn't do much to this. It's gonna look this way in 10 years, 20 years. And a nice clean sliding glass door there as well. And uh, it's gonna be in that same sage green we see throughout a lot of the home down here. And you can see the tile goes into every single room on the main floor. And this brings us into the next gen kitchen. Now this is much bigger than your standard next gen suite. We have this huge family room here. And then basically, you know, outside of a stove, we have almost a full kitchen here. We have the uh, granite countertops. They've painted the bottom of the island in that same green color. Plenty of room for four, four stools, which is also gonna be kind of your dining area if you wanna set it up that way. You have the GE refrigerator. So you're gonna get the refrigerator, washer, dryer. Everything you see here is gonna come with the home for the most part outside of the furniture. Huge single basin stainless sink. You do need to get that little rack on the bottom there to protect the stainless because it will scratch up with silverware and cups, pots and pans. And then we have the microwave over here, which I believe is also a convection oven. Yeah, so you have a convection oven microwave combo here, the GE Profile. That's great to see more countertop space, a cat six hookup, blinds on all the windows, about a three inch crown there on the top of the shaker cabinets, and then this GE refrigerator as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a next gen suite, you're looking for a pool, you're looking for a highly upgraded home with all the fixins, this is gonna be the one for you. Give me a call today, a motion detector over there. We can see the alarms on the doors as well. And then we're wired up for two ceiling fans or lights there. Um, I'll show you a little bit about that in a second when we walk back through, but we do have a separate access through this third car for just the next gen suite, which is really cool. So if you're using it for maybe another family member or you know, renting it out, or you have an adult child maybe living here, they have their own parking spot, won't affect the, or interrupt, or, you know, basically you're gonna come in here and you're just gonna be able to enter into that next gen without having to go through the house. Not many next gens have their own garage space. And then again, that beautiful epoxy floor, massive water heater here in the corner. It is an insulated water heater. We have the drip pan, the sediment trap. You have a water softener loop there. Tons of extra tile. And again, about 11 foot ceilings in this garage. Love the modern garage door. So that's gonna be the single car. And then back through here. So. It is kind of set up for a family room, dining room. You can see the hookup there for the light or ceiling fan and then another hookup there that's just gonna be for a dining light. So put a dining light there. You could have a nice dining table if you have maybe had stools that slide underneath the bar area there to give you a little more space. And then of course this couch is a very large couch here. So if you did a little bit of a smaller couch, you could do the dining table here. 
And then of course the entry, separate entry to the home on this side that we saw from the courtyard coming in. So that's gonna be the next gen suite. Oh, just kidding. We have a closet as well. So we have storage closets, storage under the stairs, plenty of space, and then kind of a coat closet area here as well. So yeah, massive next gen suite here. 4,280 square feet total on the home. Getting a little glimpse of the kitchen and the main living area, but we're gonna go ahead and go up these stairs here. Nice upgraded carpet, back to that very light gray on the walls. This upgraded rail that's in a very dark gray. Matte color. And as we come upstairs, the home really opens up. We have this huge loft here. This loft's about 22 by 12. Back to that color on the wall there and all around the loft. You have your electronic hookups on this wall here. So that'll be your entertainment wall, your cat six hookup, your Smurf two for your cable management. 12 foot slider. Ceiling fan hookup here. Also have the LED recessed lighting. We'll check out this balcony in just a moment in that strip view. Gorgeous, but first we'll head over to these bedrooms. We do have access to that balcony from the primary bedroom, which we'll be at in just a moment. And here's where we're gonna to start to see little touches of that model home. We have the insect wallpaper here. This is gonna be bedroom number two that we look at. Walk-in closet. Again, eight foot interior upgraded doors. They really do a great job on this wallpaper. The curtains, these little frillies hanging off in gold. Curtains wall stay with the home, I believe. We'll write that into the contract if that's something that's important to you. Again, a floating cabinet with the countertop and the undermount sink. Again, all one piece here, fiberglass, tub. No grout lines, no seams, nothing to get dirty. Stays super clean here. That's great to see. Deep tub there, that's kind of the modern tub we're seeing a lot of these days on these new builds or newer builds. We do have a skip trow texture on the wall and on the ceiling as well. I will note in these Lennar homes, you don't have lights right over the sink areas. You have the big LEDs that are recessed so it is bright, but you don't have that direct overhead light there. You could always add that on. So that's gonna be bedroom number two. I do wanna show you something real quick in this bedroom. You have amazing strip views here from this bedroom. You can see it all there. You got the sphere. Very cool, and then the entire city. And at night, this all just glows with lights not just the strip. The strip glows extra bright and has a lot of color in it, but then you're just gonna get all of these colors out here. And if you're in Las Vegas, you'll know that Henderson street lights are kind of white and the rest of Las Vegas are kind of yellow. So you'll see white lights just to where Henderson ends and then it turns to yellow street lights. Maybe a little, little known fact about the lighting here in Henderson. Did I zoom out? Yeah, okay. All right, so that's this bedroom, let's keep moving. Thanks for being here today. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas, your local licensed realtor, ready to assist. Just give me a call, give me a text. This is my cell number here, or visit my new website, andrewsellsvegas.com. I really appreciate that. You can sign up through my website if you wanna to talk to me as well. Sign up for alerts. 
However, if you want to talk to me directly, give me a call. That's the easiest way to contact me. Now we have kind of a Dr. Seuss theme here. Um, I don't know if these are like stickers. Yeah, these are decals they've put on the wall. So you have some animals hanging out in the trees. Again, that's a nice touch for the model homes. We see stuff like that. And then they've also done the green just down the windows here. So you have that light gray on everything except for just where the windows are. Do you like that? Let me know in the comments below. Again, our only light source is gonna be the windows. I apologize, it's a little bit darker in here. We do have the hookup for the ceiling fan. And what we're seeing with the builders a lot these days with the newer builds, 2020, 2021, moving forward, they assume that every ceiling fan is gonna have a remote. So they only give you one switch that just turns that on and off and then you'll use the remote to operate the actual ceiling fan. And then we have the triple wide closet here with three slides. Again, upgraded slides and just a big rack going all the way across. So that's gonna be bedroom number three. And let's keep moving. We got a lot more to see here. Full bath. It's gonna be the shared bath for these three bedrooms over here, as well as the guest bath if you have people up in your loft. That same floating gray shaker style cabinets, undermount sinks, quartz countertops, big mirror again no light above the mirror just the leds up top there modern baseboards all around the door frames same tub we saw in the other bathroom you know i said it's shared for these three bedrooms it's only shared for the two bedrooms because that first bedroom we saw up here is an ensuite has its own bathroom so this is just shared for two people as well as the guests so that's great all one piece here, we have the small window up top. We have the ProFlow dual flush toilet here. And then I love these Lennar homes. Look at the way the toilet paper holder works. You just lift it up. That's like the easiest thing. Slide it on there, slide it off. Very cool. Comes with the shower curtain. That's gonna be the fourth bathroom we see. We saw the half bath, guest bath downstairs. We saw the ensuite full bath, and then we saw these two full baths up here. This is gonna be bedroom number four here. No, wait, it says five bedrooms, okay. Five bedrooms, five baths. I think I said four bedrooms, five baths in the intro. I apologize, it's five bedrooms, five baths. Wow, I messed that up, but hey, you know, I try my best. I think I saw four full baths and said five bed, four bedrooms. Now I can't even figure out what I said. Okay, anyways, moving on. We got Grogu here. Again, just that model home touch. They've done this beautiful paint job with kind of the Dijon with that sage green, the Grogu decal. I'm not sure why he's not all green. Seems like that would have been pretty easy to do, especially if this is just a decal. You didn't even have to paint an even circle. You could have just kind of eyeballed it. And then, I don't know, do you like him in two-tone or do you like him better if he was all green? Let me know. And then that Dijon in green wraps all the way around the room. This is probably the smallest bedroom we see. and into this large walk-in closet. Great size closet with a window. And this room's actually painted white. You can see the gray there with the white and this is white on white. So that'll be the fourth bedroom we see, four baths we've seen so far, and into this laundry room. Good size laundry room here. Big window looking out, nice fiberglass sink. We have the quartz countertops. 
And I'm just reading now that this home is brand new. No one's actually ever lived here before. It's the model up for sale. I have to recut that intro. I probably won't. It is what it is. But if you watch this long, you get the extra little details. Optional washer and dryer. It says in the contract it comes with it though. So I think that was because it was a model they put optional on there. And this is going to be your smart panel here. So plenty of room in this laundry room upstairs. There you go. Extra large smart panel. Super wide door here as well going into this laundry room. This is going to be the switch for the light, switch for the fan up there. Not sure why they put it up so high. I'm tall, but that's hard to reach. So maybe you need a stick or something. All right. So that's going to be everything upstairs except for the primary bedroom. We're going to head over there now. Pick up the pace a little bit. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for spending your valuable time with me today. And reading that it is a model home brand new makes a lot more sense with the decor I'm seeing. So into the primary bedroom. So we're going with the gold theme here. We have the double door entry. Look at this light here. Wow, what an interesting light. I've never seen a light like that. Do you like this? What do you think of this light? And then they've done that beautiful wallpaper on the wall here with kind of just the gold paint, tan type colors. And then of course they've just done the decor to match the bed, the nightstands. Not real gold, but it looks like it. That'd be an expensive bed if that was all real gold. <laughs> So yeah, this is your primary bedroom. The size on this primary bedroom is gonna be 18 by 16 here. You have your Smurf tube, your plug there. And into this primary bathroom, we've transitioned back to that tile. We have a nice storage area here, little countertop. The gray shaker style cabinet should be soft close. And they are. Water closet to the left here with the door for privacy. And then we have your shower. Very interesting shower. Cool tile, unusual size tile for this shower. Usually you see something a little more square, a little more rectangle. I mean, this is a rectangle, but it's kind of a wide rectangle. So nice tile work. We went down to the square tile on the floor there. About a five inch threshold stepping in. We do have the rain shower above. A lot of the Lennar homes that we see now don't have the light directly above the shower, so it is good to see that. And then this oversized soaker tub here, freestanding. It is gonna be a fiberglass tub. Most of the tubs you see that are freestanding these days, if they're recently installed in the past few years, they are gonna be fiberglass. We have the frosted window there, large window letting in a ton of light. And then we have the floating cabinets again, countertops. I love the upgraded mirrors here. Those are very cool. Shaker style. And then we have a vanity on this side, just strictly for doing your makeup or whatever you need to do over here. It would be nice to see a little cut out there so you could put a stool in and kind of have somewhere to put your knees. Otherwise you're gonna be sitting kind of far back to do your makeup, but you know, that's just the way they've done them. And I'm sure you could do that pretty inexpensively if you wanted to switch that out. And we have the other faucet over here on this side. And yeah, I love that you can just mop the floor and not have to worry about getting the cabinets themselves wet. Big mirror, and then check out this closet. I love the size of this closet. We do have a window also letting in some natural, natural light. We have the two sets of shelves there, and then this kind of middle section. You could do shoes or folded clothes, and then all the way around. So very large closet here.
about 12 by nine on this closet. So plenty of space here. And of course that window is a great touch. So that's going to be your primary bathroom. And now we're going to head out back and just take a look out this balcony real quick. So this is a triple wide slider. So basically it opens twice. It's a stacker. You either have, you either have a standard slide that just opens to here, or you have the stacker where two of the doors open to there, or you have the pocket where they slide all the way into the wall. Obviously not an option here because that's the exterior there, but covered patio out here. They're still finishing up the home next door, still building out the neighborhood. It is sold out, but they are still doing the construction. So if you want a home in Tresor, you gotta buy this one or something that is uh, lived in that's on the market for sale. But yeah, massive patio out here. And then look at this view, gorgeous. I'm not going to show you the pool just yet. We'll get down there in a moment, but you have about a 180 degree view here of the whole city. We're perched up high. And then of course that Las Vegas strip, unobstructed views. Sunrise mountain and then off to Lake Mead to the right there. Wow. So that's going to be your outback view. We'll see how good it is from downstairs. We're headed down there now. Stay with me. Shut this door real quick. It is a little windy today. I don't want to be liable for something blowing around or, you know, just be safe. Ugh, I can't close this with one arm. There we go. They slide really well, but you got to give them a little bit of a push to get them in the locking position. It's kind of the nature of those big stackers like that. All right, so that's going to be your upstairs for you. Listed for $1.75 million, 409 a square foot, built in 2021, out here in Henderson, Nevada, 89012, gated community with the pool, with the next gen. And now we're down into the main living area here, back to the 10 foot ceilings. Very large couch. This is a huge open area here, kind of a great room. They've done this beautiful wallpaper on the wall all the way across. Almost looks like a sandstone or something when you step back. Massive slider, we're gonna head out there in just a second after we explore the kitchen. We do have a pantry over here to the right. And decent sized pantry. I would have expected a little more for a home that's 4,280 square feet, to be honest. A little lacking on the pantry there, but you can kinda, of, I mean, depending on who you are, you might be able to walk back there, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a big guy and I, it'd be tough for me to kind of, let me see if we can. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess I can. It's just not the greatest. So with all this space, I would have, this is the first thing I see in the home that isn't fantastic. But again, it is a big pantry walk in. It's just a little bit kind of tight there. Now you definitely could cut this wall out and have more access in there. That is an option. But, uh, and I don't really like to point out anything negative, but I, I was a little surprised and it just kind of came out. <laughs> I apologize, so. Um, massive island here. You do have all this extra storage here as well. I mean, I think there's plenty of room. You can see the cabinets go wall to wall here. It's about 20 feet wide, if not wider. So there is plenty of space. We have this massive refrigerator here, the GE Monogram. And this is a great fridge. You have the drawers underneath. So you have a fridge drawer, the fridge. Oh, I'm sorry. This is all refrigerator. I was mistaken. All refrigerator here. And then you have two freezer drawers at the bottom. 
I've seen these set up another way. Maybe not this brand. You do have your ice camera turned off for some reason, but anyways, I have seen these. Maybe not this model where it was uh, freezer one side, fridge other side, but this one's gonna be fridge, freezer there, but massive, huge refrigerator, GE monogram. I love this textured tile along the backs, backsplash here. Wonder why the camera turned off. That's really weird. I've done so many tours, it's never just arbitrarily just shut off while recording, it just stopped. Um, another convection uh, microwave combo here, monogram. We have one of my favorite things on my bucket list to own, but that's the pot filler here. I don't even boil noodles or anything that often, but I would love to have one of these. Uh, so you do have the pot filler there. Again, that textured backsplash, the GE monogram hood here with the 42 inch monogram double oven with the six burner gas range. Then you also have the flat top on this side. I actually have this oven in my house and I love it. And, and most of the time I use this smaller side. Believe it or not, this smaller side does not heat up any faster than this bigger side, but I don't know why I use it. I guess my tray fits in there perfectly. So I just tend to use that side. I thought it would heat up faster. So I turned them both on 425 one day, fired it up, took about the same amount of time. Unusual, but nonetheless, it's an awesome, it's an awesome, awesome stove and oven. Turn on the lights there for you. Yeah, I just love the way it looks. I love the gold and it works beautifully. Also, let me show you something with these burners. So you have your high mode, which is both circles there. And then if you see down here, you can go back to medium where both circles are going. And if you go to this low side, it turns off the outer circle and you just have that middle one burning. So another little feature and touch, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I'm glad I have it. Um, and that's why I know so much about it. Uh, the other thing to note when you turn on the oven with this and it starts to get hot, your hood is automatically gonna start sending heat up there. So you can't turn it off. It's not loud, but it does turn itself on when the oven is hot. Single basin stainless sink here, Amerisink. You have your RO system there. Your monogram dishwasher here. Uh, cool feature about this real quick. Uh, it does have bottle jets here that you can turn on and off. So you put cups on there, set something on there with a the little clip. It will spray up inside of it, which is pretty cool. And it does sing. All these are Wi-Fi appliances too. You'll get notifications when you know, your oven's hot or when your dishwasher's done. Anyways, enough about the appliances. Thanks for being here. I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. Leave me a quick thumbs up. Look at this beautiful light here. Be your dining area for your casual bite here. Or you could do your formal dining table here. It's the only area really for dining other than stools at this massive island. So one area for dining. Most people don't really use a formal dining and a kitchen nook these days. So they just kind of put it all in one. Big windows looking out back, but enough of the inside. Let's check out this pool. Let's check out the backyard. We do have these stacker uh, sliders again that will slide all the way open. Windy day here in Las Vegas. Thank you for being here. All right, as we walk outside here, amazing pool. We have the Infinity Edge pool, Infinity Edge spa. I'll show you a little bit about that in just a second. This huge covered patio with lighting goes all the way over here, getting attacked by the curtain. We have this travertine across the entire outdoor area. Huge upgrade on this pool, as well as this infinity edge pool. I believe the water level's lowered right now, but you can raise it up to where basically it looks just like that spa where it's all one even sheet of water. That's amazing. You should be able to lower the water before you get in as well. So you don't splash all of the water out, but that's totally up to you. But yeah, look at this spa. That is amazing. So very expensive pool here. They have the infinity edge all the way around. And then you see this little area in between here where the water will kind of flow off into. 
and they're probably maximizing their full 600 square feet on this pool I'm imagining because all of this outside surface where it flows down that also counts as square footage but what do you think of this pool that is a gorgeous gorgeous pool yeah so you have kind of the waterfalls going here uh, you can probably turn it on where it does that across the whole thing but you can see it coming off the edge there this beautiful stonework you have the rail across the back with the fence so you just have this wonderful view professionally landscaped pool equipment's going to be over here you got your barbecue stub your ac units which are only three years old and then yeah this view so 1.75 million 89012 gated community this will never get old and at night it's a thousand times more beautiful look at that very few homes have this kind of view in Las Vegas. And you can see how many homes are in Las Vegas. We have the solar power. Wow, awesome. All right, thanks guys. Oh, we have another barbecue stub there. Interesting, okay. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Share this with a friend. Thank you.